world, I'm Josh. I'm Lauren. Welcome to another episode of Let's Try Stuff. Coffee edition. Today we are trying another one from Stumptown Coffee Roasters. If it would focus, focus camera. It doesn't want to focus. Well, it's Stumptown and it's the Peru Tembuyaku. T-I-M-B-U-Y-A-C-U. It's an organic coffee. Maybe it'll focus on this. There we go. Tasting notes say tropical berry and gram, and it says Alfonso Tejada cultivates coffee on his farm, Timbuyaku, and manages the Cafe Monteverde Producer Association in Rodriguez de Mendoza. Hmm. This year, Alfonso Tejada, Tejada Ebergico, Ebergico, decided to soak his coffee overnight for 12 hours to improve the structure and bright flavors in the cup. He also built three covered raised drying beds, which were vital this year due to heavy rains brought by El Nino. That's enough of me trying to read out loud again. These are what the beans look like. Nice medium sized uh, kind of bean, medium to large, nice lighter roast again no oils or anything on the outside the beans smell very nice very fresh again thankfully we're fresh uh, and that is thanks to Jeff at Stumptown mm -hmm. who was extremely nice to us and sent us three coffees to try I'm spilling my beans everywhere. These beans everywhere um, this is oh, the no, you're spilling your beans. this is the second one that we're trying. Uh, so big shout out to Jeff. Thanks Thank you a lot. very much. Um, and he also sent us this oh, yeah, awesome mug. mug that I'll try not to spill any coffee out of. Beautiful. And as always is the case, um, brewed this in a Chemex. Uh, 42 grams to 700 grams of water. And uh, it's been sitting now for a while, cooling down, because I just find that cooler coffee tastes better. And uh, yeah, I see some oils floating on the top, and I, before I smell the coffee, I'll say, when I was brewing it, I kind of got like a tobacco, earthy kind of smell, so it was mm. surprising to me to then read the tasting notes for Tropical Berry and Graham. I expected yeah. something more like uh, dark chocolate. Um, cloves again like the Rwanda said but if I smell it again it definitely has sweetened up um, now that it's been sitting here cooling off more of a typical just nice light roast coffee smell there's me spilling some on myself which means it's time for me to taste while Lauren talks about it <laughs> this has to be the one that he thought I would like the best Oh, I, I, I would have expected that just because it's Peruvian coffee um, instead of African because, I mean, typically I think of Central and South American coffee sort of having those less citrusy notes. So again, it's kind of surprising to see Tropical Berry and Graham, but that yeah. being said, I am getting the Graham so far, I think. I, I, I get... Yeah what they're going with that. I really liked the last one, mm -hmm. but I love this one. The last one was the Rwanda. Yeah. No, this is this is really sweet. I don't taste any citrusy or acidity no, at all. No. This is not bitter in the least bit. I think the finish is a tad, like it starts sweet and finishes to bitter-ish, mm -hmm. which I think is that Graham kind of note, to be honest. Like, yeah. in the way that a, a Graham cracker is got a little bit of bitterness to it. This is just a really drinkable coffee. It's just really easy to drink. Mm-hmm. It's, um, a little, a little kind of what you'd expect coffee flavor wise I think like it tastes like coffee is what I'm trying to say mm-hmm um, 
but it is very light and very I don't I guess I guess that's sort of I think of tropical being light and breezy I get that I definitely because I don't get know I don't know what it tastes like tropical I would think citrusy but I don't think that's the case here I definitely get berry because it's fruity but not citrusy in any way um I would agree that you're right I do like the Rwanda better but I also really like it's it's a pretty close call like if I mm -hmm. had to pick I'd pick the Rwanda but this is actually really really good too I really like this coffee as well so um Stumptown lives up to the hype again I mean yeah very good very good coffee um I really don't have any complaints I like the Rwanda better, but this is a close second so far. We have one yeah. more to try. This is for you if you really like sweeter coffees. And the Rwanda would be for you if you really enjoy that. Mm. If you really like sweeter coffees. Okay! Fine! I'm talking think, loudly. I there, think, are you happy? I think the Rwanda would... <laughs> For you. Don't listen to him, he's a liar. Welcome to this episode of NPR's Coffee Talk. <laughs> if you really like a sweeter cup, then perhaps the Rwanda would be for you. But if you like Lauren and you like a little bitterness in your day, don't neglect the Peru. <laughs> Peruse the Peru with your palate. Are you are you satisfied? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good. Good job. He follows through on the making fun of me scene. Oh, it's so easy. I can't help it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even what what kind of plant is this on here? This tropic it looks like a palm tree, yeah, coconuts. It looks like a fern. It doesn't taste like coconuts. But uh I wonder when he says they soak the coffee overnight for 12 hours, if that is after they took the cherries off, or the fruit, mm -hmm. or if it, then they soaked green beans, or if they soaked the cherries, or how that worked. So if you know the answer to that, you can leave a, a Tell comment. Tell us down below. Definitely interesting, because I think, I could be mistaken, but I think natural processed coffees, they leave the cherries on longer to dry went during the drying process whereas the washed I think that's the difference the washed varieties they are not varieties but the washed processing I think they take the bee, the, the cherries off earlier in yeah. the process but uh, yeah so yeah I don't know what effect really that soaking of the coffee has on the coffee it, it's one of those things where it's I'd have to try the same beans not soaked to sort of get an idea either way it's a really solid coffee mm -hmm. really nice bright flavor i would highly recommend it so if you've been following along and you've seen that your taste aligned with lauren more than mine then you would pick the peru over the rwanda and if you're along the lines of me i think you'd find the rwanda uh better tasting to you than the Peru that being said it's it's close yeah and I really don't think you'd go wrong with either they're both great coffees so thanks again Jeff for this amazing coffee uh, we really truly appreciate it and uh, do you have anything else no thanks for sticking with us through another long video but uh, I think it was worth it so so thanks for watching tell us what to try next comment down below and subscribe we'll see you next time bye